Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Morning Barakah, Health and Nutrition. And we're here today with Sana. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank, Thank you me. once again for joining us. Thank you for having me again. So we have another recipe to go through, but yeah. I can see very few ingredients. Can you explain? Yeah, so we're going to make something simple again. Uh, practical and quick. Um, I believe sometimes that the simple ingredients taste the best at of times. Um, and I'm going to make a beetroot and red onion uh, salad with olive oil and parsley and coriander. Okay, so all the dark colours in there. Yes, definitely. And uh, first to begin with, um, what I'm going to do is, is chop the onion and the parsley and coriander just because the beetroot has the dye so I'd leave that to till till the, end. the end. Okay well so while you do that I explain a little bit about the red onion it's yeah. really good for you. Um, a lot of the times we might complain the fact that it might give us some you know strong breath which we might not particularly like yeah. but actually even for children if they were to chew on it or even us as adults it actually helps against tooth decay so it's yes. a really good uh, ingredient to have exactly yeah. for those purposes and um, looking at the beetroot um, might not be everyone's favorite but I've been doing a bit more research on that as well and it's um, it's really really got a lot of mis medicinal properties in it yes and also athletes will you know, eat beetroot like uh, an hour or so before their actual training or competing because oh. Oh, wow. it actually boosts and gives them that energy and, you know, it's really healthy for you. So I wasn't aware of that until, you know, I decided that, wow, I need to research on this a little bit further. Yeah, yeah. You no, don't I haven't. really realize that. I, I haven't heard of that as well. And I guess many foods have so many benefits that, again, we're not of course, aware of. Of course, it enhances their performance. So if athletes use that, you imagine how much we can benefit. Generally, exactly. just on our everyday, you know, lives, because we find ourselves very much with fatigue, yes. you know, taking on so much and not having the energy, not having the time to always have the right proper food. Yes. So to prepare something like this, it's um, really good. And beetroot could be used as a dip, as it a It can juice. do, yeah. It can do, yeah. Um, even the leaves. So there's many, many things that you can add to that. It doesn't have to be just in its whole form. Yeah, and again, it's not a typical kind of salad that you no. would normally make at home. And um, again, it's, I, I would advise that you do try and change the salads at home because once you get used to yes. the same salad or your children get used to the same salad, that's all they will want. That's true. So just now and again, try to change it around. Different and ingredients. Exactly. And they will start to kind of get used to the different types of you know, uh, salads that you kind of do at home. Of course, it's good to have selection and variety and you know, it gives our palate that excitement, to be honest. Exactly, yes. I can just smell those red onions. They it's are. really strong. Uh, and you it's know, very strong. when you're talking about palate, um, part of my in my child development course, what I had learned was that different children have different types of, of taste buds at different stages. stages yes. So um, if you try to kind of give them, them, yeah, try and give them little bits of things that they're not used to every day from a very young age, those taste buds will start to get used to the different uh, textures and flavors. And so they won't become such fussy eaters as they grow. I was going to say, because a lot of parents might force them and worry that they're not eating, but they don't realize because they are actually still growing yes. and developing that it's okay for them not to like certain things. Exactly. But then it doesn't mean you give up on that because, you know, a few months, few, you know, to, you know, whatever stages down the line, you yes. can reintroduce that exactly. or even be more creative in the way in which you introduce it. Yeah. And I think that's one I've of the issues. I've heard of beetroot cake as well, by the way. Have you heard of that? I have actually. Yeah. yeah. I've never tried that. No, I haven't but, either. But I have actually heard about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I so remember that. There are different ways Absolutely. that you can kind of explore. I guess when we have carrot cakes, mm -hmm. no one Same thinks thing. about, yes. you know, a vegetable in, in, a, in cake. a cake. Exactly. But it does actually work. So, you know, try and research different ways because we don't always have to stay in the same with the same food we can try and make things different at home and you never know you may enjoy it more your children might enjoy it more just try and experiment and and i think with younger children as parents when we want to f give them food we want them just to be full and we're just thinking oh they haven't eaten exactly and if they That's don't so want to eat this we won't give it to them again mm -hmm. because we know they're not going to eat it don't give up persist, give the Absolutely. same things to them that they wouldn't ordinarily have and you will see they will start to start to have it. So, you know, but a good tip there. An important point that you also mentioned earlier is that we do stick to the same sort of thing, the same foods. And especially with me, I'm just thinking back, every time I make a salad, it's exactly the same ingredients that I use. Yeah. And you think, okay, we're making a salad, what's so special? But to actually give awareness that, you know, these different ingredients added to the salad yeah. can make it so much more exciting. Exactly, and, yes. And, you know, it's so much better to have that variety and selection. And as we know, and we're learning so much benefits that come from it. 
we can actually you know do that and benefit in so many ways exactly and that, that's the main thing it's all learning like no one knows how to do everything perfectly no, it's all learning stages you may have friends or family that you've seen have made certain things ask them questions incorporate it into your own daily cooking that's what, I, what I've done, Definitely. you know, you're not born to be able to cook things. Yeah. You know, ask you learn. questions and you learn. learn and find from different, um, you know, countries. Don't stick with the same, same things. Absolutely. You know, kind of change mix it. Mix it. Mix mm -hmm. it up, make it your own. That so, is very much red and you can see on your gloves as well. Yes. Just be careful with your clothing because it does stain and that's one stain that's very difficult to come out. Ex exactly. And also I would say that um, don't be worried when you go to the bathroom and you see certain colours. Um, the dye is really strong and okay. it's not some parents or adults would we'll think worry, you know, of course. it's something oh, that's else. Very, very helpful, if you've yeah, had beetroot, beetroot the day before, mm -hmm. just bear in mind that you may see something red when you go to the bathroom. So okay. just to have yeah, that of course, for in mind. And health purposes, so um, now I've just mixed that all in and um, that's it. everything's done there. I'm now going to add the so olive oil. So you do sort of garnish it with... Um, with, with the parsley and the coriander, right. yes. So now what I'm going to do, olive oil, which is my favourite, which I, we've been using quite a lot. We've been using almost all the time, yes. yes. exactly. Um, depending on your taste buds as well, um, I would I would put about probably a tablespoon and a half yeah, in there. Yeah, I mean, that's a, not a very much amount either. Exactly. I just find that it really... Um, kind of changes the whole taste of the no, salad. No, of course. And even um, with the onion, it will soften it a little bit. Exactly, yes. Right. And we're also going to put some salt and pepper in there. So how do you find um, bringing up children to have a kind of etiquette while at the dinner table? Um, it's good that you brought, brought that up, actually, because it is something that we should focus on at home. Mm -hmm. um, with myself, what I do is on the dinner, dinner table, I will imitate what I expect them to do. Absolutely, um, yeah. So kind of representing the good, the good ways of eating on the dinner table. So, for example, starting with salt, ending with salt, as, as the prophet used to do, yep. peace and blessings upon yep. him. And so I think we need to kind of make that a daily type of uh, routine with the children. No, absolutely. I mean, now I end up sometimes forgetting and my children remind me, Mama, where's the salt? So I think when you kind of say that and you incorporate, mm -hmm. they, they'll start to kind of get used to that. And in terms of what you were saying with the etiquette, teaching your child to close their mouth when they're chewing. I was just about to say, you know, etiquette involves so much other manners yes. and ways in which we sit, the way in which we Definitely. actually will chew our food. It's not just Islamic, it, it is really just some sort of like, you know, discipline exactly. when you're sitting amongst other people and you find adults that are chewing and eating mm. loud and, you know, you can hear the noises coming out. It's really irritating, personally, no, but true. at the same time, it's just, it's just really not nice. So it's, you have to teach your children how to sit properly, how to eat properly, how to, you know, use... You know, if they're going to use the utensils in a particular way, you know, elbows and whatever exactly. it may be on the table, not holding your head while you're sitting there, yes. you know, frumping, frumping or whatever it may be. Because, you know, all these things do make a difference. And I think it can, you know, your posture, I work with people, obviously, like I said before, with their mindset, but standing and sitting in a particular way exactly. makes a huge difference as to how you're going to approach certain things as well. Yes. And come across, even if you walk into a room and you stand tall, you know, whether you're tall or not, but, <laughs> you know, you stand with it's confidence, yeah. it brings a different vibe. Definitely, I would agree with that. And I think, like you were saying, with, with your children at home, if you do they will impact. If you do certain yeah. things, they will imitate you. They will Absolutely. copy you. So everything that they do is from what they've seen you do. So just bear that Definitely. in mind. And don't be afraid to correct them. A lot of the parents will not correct them. You know, you see them, and these are young children learning, yes. and they have no idea. And unless you correct them, and yes, it can be annoying if it's consistent, because they don't remember. And we know they're still developing in their minds. Exactly. But don't give up, because when you're in public, at least you know they're going to be sitting and having those manners and discipline. That needs to be. Exactly. Because they do yeah. represent you. They represent your household. They represent your teachings. It's so don't forget that. Yes. And, it's and really, really important. It's, exactly. It's really important. I think, like you said, when you start it from the very beginning, it's a the lot habits, easier to, to easier. get into. Don't leave Absolutely. it until they're a bit older yeah. and then you find it tricky to kind of, you know, get them to understand. Well, they themselves will find it a lot harder exactly. because they're used to something for so long. So just do take that into consideration. No, definitely. Oh, lovely. Um, so, yeah, that's the... The, the finish. The finish, yes. Okay, let me have a... Have a taste. Don't worry if you get onion breath, no, anyone. Fine.
I'm going to finish this before I talk. It's, it's, it's something different, isn't it? Something that you it's probably haven't... It's really lovely. And I love the garnish and I love yes. the, the olive oil. And I love beetroot, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, it's really, really nice. You can also add vinegar in there if you, if you would like to. Um, obviously, it no, depends on No, it doesn't on need it, it, to be fair. It doesn't, no. Mm -mm. It's, it's kind of a good balance Perfect. of everything. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's really lovely. Thank you, Sana. You're very welcome. It's here. a lovely, lovely salad and something I would definitely choose to have a selection and variety and adding that to my table, definitely. That's no problem. Thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, we will be back with more delicious recipes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Over to you, Zahra and Ali.